Hey guys, welcome back to another modern tutorial. Today we're going to be making an example pickaxe, and I swear that the, uh, the NPC tutorial is coming soon. It's just not yet. Also, I'm using a different recording software today because recently the main one I use got an update and I don't actually like it that much. It's also providing issues in Terraria. So instead today I'm going to be using Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS, which as people may know is really, really popular choice for streaming. So anyway, we're going to jump straight on into the tutorial, and in the items folder I've already gone ahead and created a new tools folder, and then a YouTube pickaxe by creating a new text file, and then all you have to do is rename the extension of this to CS, and then we're going to open this up. Now switch into this file, we're going to go straight into it and define all the things, all the files and stuff we need to be using. So we're going to be using microsoft.xna.framework semicolon using Terraria using Terraria ID and this is if you want to reference certain things in Terraria specifically and you do actually need this now for nearly everything because of the way the new T mod loader has changed sound and how things work like that and then you'll also need using terraria.modloader then we're going to start the actual code namespace and this is the where you put the mod name so it's youtube mod for us dot items dot tools because those are all the folders you need to get to to get to this cs file i'm going to open up some curly brackets public class and we're going to call this the file name, which is YouTube Pickaxe. And this is a mod item. Open more curly brackets. And here we're going to do public override void set defaults. So now, item.name equals. So this is the name in the game. And we're just going to call this YouTube Pickaxe with a space in between, but we can now item.damage and I mean since it's a pickaxe we're not going to give it that much damage you know I think if it's going to be a high level pickaxe give it quite decent damage but I think I'm going to give about 14 damage and I'll be per swing item.melee is going to be true because pickaxes can damage uh, can damage enemies while you're swinging item.width is going to be 40 and item dot height is going to be 40 and we're going to come back to this later once we have made the text files item dot tooltip equals and then I'm just going to put a pickaxe for YouTube exclamation mark make sure all these lines have semicolons by the way and you can, of course, put item and then dot tooltip 2 equals if you want to have another tooltip. Item dot use time equals 10. Now, the use time and the use animation, they affect the actual animation and swing of the pickaxe. The actual pickaxe power, or item dot pick, which is what we're going to do next, dictates how powerful the pickaxe is. So for this, we're going to make this probably about 200, which is like end game kind of pickaxe. Item.use style is 1 because it's the kind we swing over our head. Item.knockback, now it's a pickaxe, so it can have as much knockback as you want. Personally, I don't like it when enemies come and hit you while you're mining, so I'm going to give it a knockback of 10, which is like stupidly powerful, I think. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Item.value is going to be 10,000. Oh, there you go, 10,000. And then item.rare is only going to be equal 1, which I believe makes it not burn in lava. Item.use sound. Now, this is to change this because it used to just be, it would have just been 1, and then it would have said, oh, well, it's a tool or an item. And then I would have looked in the item database and then just looked for the first one, but now you have to say sound oops, sound ID dot item one. 
And then finally, item dot auto reuse. And because it's pickaxe, we want to set that to true. And now I'm going to move on. Public override void. Oh gosh, there you go. Void add recipe. Oh, recipes, sorry. And then scroll down here. Okay, brackets. Mod recipe. Recipe equals new mod recipe. And then in brackets, mod. Oh, I need to semicolon on the end. Recipe dot add ingredient. And then this is going to be item id dot dirt block and then that's going to be comma one recipe dot set result and brackets this oh I mean open code right there and then finally recipe dot add recipe and that's going to do it for this. You can also have recipe add a tile if you want to make a specific tile, whether it be a mod crafting bench you've made or a non-mod one like a vanilla one. I have missed off a very important thing, which is the texture. So basically, I just quickly edited one in Fireworks, and now we're going to jump into Terraria. So now we're jumping in game. We are going to build the mod. That's fine, and then we're going to load up our YouTube tutorial mod. going to mine a block of dirt here, and as you can see here, the YouTube pickaxe, one dirt block, and as you can see, my fantastic, fantastic sprite for it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get it here. 14 million damage, like we said, very fast speed, extremely strong knockback, as we did set to 10, and 200 pickaxe found, and as you can see at the bottom, we've got our tooltip. So I'm going to replace that now, and as you can see, it's very, very fast. As we set the use time low. And also, since the pickaxe power is high, it's going to mine pretty decently fast. Now, it's not as fast as some pickaxes, obviously, but it still is pretty fast. We're going to actually going to jump back into the code and mess around with a few statistics. Right, so then we're going to change the item.use time to 5. And the item that use animation of five, so that's going to cut the time in half. And we're also going to change the pick power to 300. And you can also add item dot axe if you want to make it like a pickaxe axe or a ham axe. And we're going to also actually we're going to give this 220 mod tester world. As you can see, the animation is like stupidly fast now. And if I dig down, as you can see, actually, when I put smart dig on, it's automatically locking onto the trees because it now has axe. As you can see, this is just so fast. Like, I am just tunneling through the ground super fast. And this is dirt as well. Stone. It's just completely, utterly ridiculous. And then also... As you can remember, we did give it the axe there. It says 1,100% axe power. Don't know why that is. Yeah, literally, it, it one-shots trees. Also, you may have noticed that I changed the time of day. Ignore this. <laughs> I changed the time of day um, just before I quit the game last. And it was using this item I've got called the time stone. The power of time is in your hands. And this changes the day changes time of day if you look here I've got the the clock on from the cell phone it takes it to the start of the day and this is they're gonna be the uh, the tutorial zombie so 430 and then if you do it again it changes to nighttime it's really useful and if you'd like to know how to make it then leave a comment and I'll make the next tutorial about this time zone the NPC should be coming soon after the next two episodes, I'll probably bring back the voting system for what you want next. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment if you have. Leave a comment what you'd like to see next. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.